What's up guys? It's been a while. It's been a good while. Um, I'm sorry I keep going ghost on y'all. Um, life kind of continues to life and it gets kind of challenging to still pick up a camera and kind of keep y'all in the know, the know of like what's going on. Um, but I'm trying to do that right now because it just came over me and whenever I do this, or when I get back into fully doing this again, when my schedule aligns, I want it to be as genuine as possible. And it just felt like a very genuine moment. Um, so the car is in the final paces. What does that mean exactly? Okay, so I don't even know where to start. From the very beginning, me and Morgan worked our hardest to try to crack the craziness that is the ECUs of the Mitsubishi fourth generation Eclipse. Um, no one's fault. It was to our to our approach or to our we we as we're pushing this boulder down the hill, we keep running into obstacles that we're learning that some things just couldn't be avoided or some things are just done um, just done not in a way that's most efficient for tuning the platform or getting it to the point to where it can be tuned. Um, so a lot of stuff that came down to reprogramming the ECU on the car was hindered by the software and stuff like that. There was just a lot of empty things left on the program. And again, this is no one's fault. This car has been out for who knows how long and um, some things fall through the cracks since it isn't like a mainstream car like the Corvette where it's constantly getting updates and modifications to keep it relevant, I guess you can say. This is essentially a Nissan Sentra we made cool. Essentially, it's a, it's just an economy car that's cool. So to keep something like that alive is, I feel like, is a challenge on its own. So fast forward a few months later, we are introduced to a guy named Rick. Um, he, I believe, is, well, I don't believe, he is a tuner and a coder, and he's been working with Mitsubishi platforms for a very long time. Uh, I want to say he was with... I can't think of the name off the top of my head, but I'm gonna drop that right here. And um, I was able to reach out to him and he's been able to help me for the past couple months, uh, reprogramming and recomputing, here's my terminology. Just getting the car to understand, you know, what this big snail boy inside of it is. So now that we're to that point, like I say, it goes back to what I was saying, we're down to the final stretch. Uh, all the stuff me and Morgan worked on has more or less been wiped, as far as that makes sense. Um, well, okay, when I say that, I mean like a lot of check engine lights, things like that, things that we wouldn't know that shouldn't be there, we know now, which is what Rick was able to erase and you know, like pretty much teaching the car to understand what a turbo is. Uh, so what we're down to now is, is pretty much fueling and getting a few more fine tuning things in place uh at the moment i'm just doing a bunch of small things uh i just installed a, um uh can i swap the camera i don't think i can i just installed a quick release fire extinguisher all right there uh i gotta put some air in that tire i'm about to update my newest tune i got from rick and we're gonna see if we could get the car to work like drive it to my job today uh without any hiccups because the last few times i've driven it have been nightmares um we were chasing like a a three month long boost leak coming from uh my blow off valve this uh intercooling piping right below it blew off but it blew off in such a way i wasn't able to see it so when i took it to the shop to get it fixed they fixed it but then it blew off again on the way back luckily when i got home it was super obvious that time as far as like where it fell off so I sent that down, that's good. Uh, it's really just a, a waiting game at this point. Like it's just small things. You know, I never really thought my car would become a project car where it's like, oh, he says he's gonna have the car ready in a year. Oh, it's been four more months, you know, but that's kind of what it is now. And I kind of get where people come from with that. Uh, that's really all I had to say about it, man. Uh, like I said, we're gonna try getting on the road real quick and I'm gonna see if it can make it to my job. So I'll give y'all an update uh, after the end of today, I guess. Yeah, let's go with that. All right, guys, well, no need to wait for later tonight because <laughs> the car didn't make it till later tonight. Uh, on the way back, 
uh, making good boost. I was seeing about 15 pounds of boost. Uh, us putting it together, I don't think we ever re uh, evaluated the springs that were inside of it. So I think we just went with what I bought. When I bought them off the guy, um, I think it's Renner's Garage. I don't know if he ever swapped out the springs, but doing my math, um, the springs left blue, yellow, and a neutral would mean I only have a green and I think a red spring still left. And all together, that adds up, adds up to about 15-ish uh, pounds of boost. Um, eight would have been what we were set for, but the 200 says so long as the car can handle it, it's fine. Uh, I gotta tighten this back down, another shakedown drive, uh, and this blew off on the way back. Uh, I don't think the motor's gonna be cool enough for me to touch it. I mean, I should be fine, but I still can't really drive it anyways because this headlight has gone out completely, and this one was never really trustworthy to begin with, so I gotta change those out because uh, by the time I get off work, it's night, and I won't be able to see anything out of a tinted windshield and tinted headlights. Uh, yeah, I'm still kind of joyful that it was able to drive. It sounded good. It pulls hard. Like I said, it's just small little bugs here and there that had to be worked out. Like I said, I'm going to send that down because originally this one blew off. That, that clamp blew off. Uh, so when it happened to get all the way back up, from the gas station, I was like, oh man, I wanted to blow off again because I know I sent that down, but it actually blew off directly from um, where my old air intake used to be. So, uh, definitely by caffeine and octane, this month caffeine and octane, I think it should be able to make it. Uh, it, it really is just like, uh, like I said, um, baby steps, man. It's, 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 it's a process, but it's getting there. I, I think we're almost there. And I feel like I kind of got to say this in a way because it, it, it kind of shows that you got to do your due diligence and that's definitely on me. I should have checked um, or had it confirmed before I put that wastegate in that it was an eight pound collective spring altogether instead of just assuming, just assuming. So thankfully Rena didn't um, put nothing crazy in it because he was putting it in his 4G Eclipse when I bought it off him and he decided to go a different route. Um, and I don't think I ever saw him do nothing crazy. I think he was just getting into the entry level portions of it. So... I, I can't really confirm or deny that. All I gotta really say is I'm thankful that it was nothing that was gonna really damage the motor. Uh, Cause like I said, we can back down at 15 pounds to eight pounds if we need to. Uh, I think it would just come down to torque and how the car can translate it to the ground. Whether it, well, pretty much can the transmission handle it. And uh, I feel like as long as you're not all the way in it, giving it some time to breathe, that kind of gives it some of a relief uh, in between shifts, but then again, I have zero idea because this performance stuff is still all new to me, let alone with this car. So, work with me, and uh, it's going to be a lot of process for both of us, all of us. Uh, like I said, it's definitely nothing like the Corvette as far as performance. Like I said, you can just drop it off a shop, boom, ready to go. Whereas this, you, you basically got to hold his hand the whole way through, and that's what I'm learning. So, um, I hope this is informative for some of you guys, and uh, I hope it's relatable to know I'm not some diehard, no, know-it-all type of dude when it comes to these things. I'm literally learning it step by step, and there's a lot of things I still don't understand that I'm trying to get my head wrapped around. So, again, I hope this was helpful, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. On that dream.